skin, only skin, no white. Two small pages. Three always. Yeah. One hundred. Okay. So I just drain this. Yeah. Bathing soap. Yay! Yeah. Oh, so. Take the pan out. Put the pan on the fire. And the other side now. My messages. Next. You can come tomorrow. We have another glass. There we go. Olive oil. Fairly beautiful. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is breakfast for First day in Barcelona. Did you have fun with class? Yeah, it was really fun. Awesome. We made some paella, we made some dessert. Now we're walking home during golden hour. Time for sleep. Time for sleep. And beautiful scenery and beautiful fountains. Let's turn this way. We can see what we're walking in. beautiful fountains. Big squares. Pretty much a perfect day. Pretty much a perfect day. The razor clams. <laughs> Walking back home now after a delicious seafood meal at La Paradenta in La Sagrada Familia, which is right next to Sagrada Familia. And we went to this restaurant our first time in Barcelona three years ago and just fell in love with this place and so I knew we had to come back and try all the things that we really loved last time. You really love the raisin, Dan really loved the razor clams. I love the shrimp. We are taking a day trip in Girona, which is about an hour outside of Barcelona, except it actually took us two hours to get here because the train was so slow. Uh, but we have two hours before we need to get to Figueres for Salvador Dali. We're gonna go see the cathedral in Girona, which is the spot Dan really wants to go to because there's a lot of Game of Thrones shots films there. The High Scepter lives there or something? <laughs> it's the Sept of Baylor. The Sept of Baylor, <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, so we're gonna see that, get his 
uh, photos that he wants to take, and then we're gonna go get some lunch. This is such a cool medieval street. Yeah, we're walking through a really, really cute medieval street where the buildings are just really nicely preserved. Anyway, the, town's, the town center is really, really cute. And it's supposed to be one of the most well-preserved medieval towns in all of Europe, so I'm really excited to see this. up a city park now to I think it's called Manjuk Castle. Oh look at these pretty blue flowers. I love them. And yeah it's about 88 degrees in Barcelona today so we're really sweaty. Climbed up about a thousand feet. A thousand feet? I don't know. I don't like it. Feels like it. It sure does. Um, but yeah the views up here are supposed to be really nice so I'm excited to see what's at the top and maybe we can check out the castle as well. We made it to the top and I think it was worth it because this is the view and there's a pretty cool uh, medieval castle up here that I think we're going to go check out. some sort of a music festival downstairs but at least for the festival out. tomorrow oh yeah this weekend oh yeah that's right there's some holiday big big spanish holiday feast tomorrow of, uh, feast of assumption um so that must be why they have the music festival and we just made it to the top of the oh, wow. castle so we're on the terrace and the view here is amazing <laughs> Sagrada Familia right there in the center and like gothic quarter over there. It's a really nice view. Everyone's out for a Friday night. Hi. And yeah, it's, I don't know, it feels so alive. <laughs> I've seen you in ages, but I hope you come back to me. I love that in Barcelona, people spend so much time with friends and with family. Like, people are socializing all the time, which 
It really reminds me of how we live in Austin too. Like we're with our friends like literally all the time. <laughs> like you just call someone up and you get together. Um, so yeah, in Barcelona, it's, we're traveling just the two of us, but we're gonna meet up with some friends in Galicia and Mallorca before we go to that. So I'm really excited to get together. So Barcelona is actually our first stop on a really long trip. We're gonna be in Europe for three and a half weeks. Spain first, so Barcelona, Mallorca, Galicia, which is where our friend Manu's from. We're gonna go there with 12 people. I'm very excited for that. And then after Galicia, we're going to Portugal. So I've never been to Portugal, but we're gonna see Porto and Lisbon, which is very, very beautiful. And I can't wait. I was actually really nervous about traveling to Europe in August because it's like peak holiday season. But as it turns out, you know, this year with COVID, there's just not that many people traveling. And so like the markets aren't nearly as full as they usually are. And we actually can see a lot and not feel like it's completely overrun. Tourism seems to be like, we must have gotten like 25,000 steps today which beats our biggest day in Rome. All right, I got 29,000 steps today. So that beats any day we've ever had together in terms of number of steps. We still have to walk home too. That's gonna to be at least another 2,000. I think we might hit 30,000. Well, you're gonna hit 30,000 today. So we're walking to dinner. Our feet are pretty sore and achy, but this walk has just been so good because we found we got to see so much of the city and we're going to a restaurant that my friend Maria recommended, which is Cafe Lolea, just north of the Gothic Quarter. And their tapas are supposed to be really good. Their sangria, amazing. I'm actually gonna have some sangria today even though I usually don't drink. <laughs> yeah. What I love about Europe is it's so walkable everywhere. People seem really fit. I, I certainly feel really healthy and really fit walking 30,000 30, steps, 30, steps a day. Yeah, but we got like we got like 15,000 to 18,000 each day for the last three days. We never walk this much at home and I really love that about Europe. Everything's so walkable and you can see so much of the city. There's not too many cars around. People either seem to like walk or bike. 